KRA means key result area, or that is also called as a KPA. KPA, what is KPA? Key performance area means apart from your regular work, you have to take one project or assignment and you have to show that, yes, I have completed this project and I have saved this money of my company. Even one rupee you are saving. Imagine a product like, say, Pulsar of a Bajaj Auto. You are working in Bajaj Auto company and you have redesigned a product where one rupee is saving per vehicle. Think about per annum cost saving. It is in lakhs of rupees, right? So in mass production, even 10 paise, 50 paise matters. That we have to understand. And how I can reduce the cost of my product? Important question generally asked during interview. So you can reduce the cost of your product by changing the process. If the component is produced by, say, pestle operation, can it be produced by plastic molding? That should be your uh, approach. If it is produced by casting, can it be produced by forging or vice versa? That you have to understand. So changing the process is one aspect. Second, you can go for compact design. You can change the size. You can go for simplification of design. Again, you can change the process as per that. So very, very important point. Coming to the next point. Another point is the coating requirements. So coating, maybe you are going for zinc coating, tin coating, silver coating, or black coatizing or powder coating. There are various coating requirements. As per that process will change. If that is a requirement, definitely you have to consider that. Coming to the next point, life of the product. As a design engineer, you must know what is the life I want to achieve. And if you don't know this, you can ask your customer or higher management or your departmental head about this. This is the input. As per that, process will change. The beauty of forging process. What is the beauty of forging process? Most, we can say, strongest components are produced by forging process. And one more important question generally asked during interview, why forging components are stronger than any other process? So why forging components are stronger? The reason is density of grains. Density of grains means when, what is the process? When you are going for upsetting process, the length is increased, but the cross section is reduced, but the number of grains remains same. So the small cross section again gives the same strength. That is the beauty of forging process that you must know. Coming to the next point, quantity. How many components you want to produce? As per that, your process will change. If you want to go for a prototype activity, maybe you are not investing in tooling, then process will be different. If you want to produce lakhs of components, the process will change. Next point, setup cost. Even though this is not your background or this is not required for you, but you have to understand this. Setup cost means to have this particular production line. What is that machinery requirement? What is the size of that plant and setup cost? Coming to the next point, strength, very important. I told the example of forging process. If strength is important, definitely forging is number one. Other processes, you have to understand what is that weightage. So it is all about the advantages and limitations of the processes. And if you master this, then definitely that thought process should be there while finalizing the process. Next point is DFM. DFM means design for manufacturing. One more example I want to give you. Imagine there is one steel plate and there one cavity you want to produce. The cavity size, I'm giving the dimension. The length of that cavity is say 10 mm. Width of that cavity is say 3 mm. And depth of the cavity is say 6 mm. Friends, here your regular machining will not work or it will be difficult. You can go for that. But what happens in this case, if you want to achieve sharp corners at the end, then definitely you have to go for EDM process. Like EDM means electro discharge machining or this is also called as spark erosion. Again, imagine another component like one through hole is there. Again, it is having sharp corners. Maybe size is say 50, uh, length is 50, width is say 30 mm then you have to go for 
wire cut operation in that operation you can achieve sharp edges if you are going for milling operation definitely you want to go for a cutter and that radius is reflected at the corner these are all manufacturing constraints so this part is very very important